Okay, today I want to give an introduction to a concept in the FreeCAD Path Workbench that we haven't made any use of until now. Uh, this is a pretty powerful concept, and uh, um, anyway, I'll show you how this works. If you've dug around in the uh, menus, you may have come across something called a dress-up operation and wondered what it was. The one that's there right now doesn't do anything. Uh, it's mostly just a reference implementation to, uh, for programmers to play with. Um, what I have here is a, is a drag knife tool. Uh, this is a, it's a razor blade that's mounted in a rotating, uh, in, a, in a bearing, a rotating fixture. And this would be chucked into the spindle of a CNC machine. The cutting point is mounted just slightly behind the center line of the spindle. Um, so if, if this is the, the center line, the cutting point is just behind it. And because this thing can rotate as it moves along, it can orient itself and, and spin. So it's got a minimum cutting radius, uh, which is pretty small. Um, but you would use this with the spindle turned off without any power at all, and then use it to uh, cut cardboard or foam core, uh, thin leather, uh, things like that. Vinyl, I think they cut uh, vinyl for stickers but using something like this. Now because the, the cutting point isn't in line with the center of the spindle, if we were to, to cut along an edge, like in this direction, and stop when we were at the spindle, the, the cutting point would still be behind where it needs to be. We actually need to cut farther than expected in order to finish the cut. So in order to make this thing work, we have to actually modify the output from our operations. Now that's kind of a, this is kind of a special case, so we don't want to actually change the profile operation to, or add additional properties to it. What we want to do is, is uh, uh, modify the output a little bit farther downstream. The temptation might be to come up with a special post processor that does this, but that's almost overkill because the post processor for the, our specific machine may already work just fine. So that's where the dress up operation comes in. A dress up operation is a modification to an existing path. So in this case, let's go ahead and I'll show you this in a project. So I've got a shape that, that has uh, some curves and some straight lines, sometimes meeting uh, uh, non-tangent and other times they're tangent. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, is create a profile operation of this. So I'll just select the top face and do a profile. And I'm going to turn off my object so we can focus on the path. I'm going to make one more modification to the profile operation specifically for this video. And that is I want the uh, to be cutting on the line, not offsetting left or right. If I were to zoom in on one of these corners, I see that the line meets pretty close to a 90 degree. And if our tool was traveling along here when the spindle got to this point, the cutting uh, point would still be set back a little bit. And then when it went to transition, the cutting point would either spin around this corner uh, or if it couldn't make the radius fast enough, it would break off. So what we need to do is extend this and then uh, lift the cutter up a little bit so we can pivot around the point, hopefully leaving just a bare minimum of the, of the blade still in the material to hold it in place, and pivot around and then plunge back in. So I'm going to sec select my profile operation and I'm going to go under the path, path modification, drag knife dress up operation. And you'll see in the tree that the dress up was added and the original object was buried underneath and its visibility was turned off. If I toggle it on, you can see that the original path is still here, but the dress up operation has made a modification to it. So I'm, I'm going to leave it toggled off right now. And now you can see that the line continues on, then rapids up to uh, a pivot height rotates around that point and then plunges back down in. 
are the drag knife operations uh, or the uh, dress drag knives that are on the market have different characteristics, different offset distances, and you're going to need a different uh, pivot height depending on the material that you're cutting. So the drag knife dress up operation has its own properties, including its offset distance, which for this knife is 1.65 millimeters. And it's got a pivot height preset at four millimeters, and that's about right for the cardboard that I'm cutting. At this point, post-processing is just like anything else with FreeCAD. You'd select the project and post-process it. The output, uh, when you post-process a project, is the direct children of the project. So the output from the profile itself is going to be suppressed, and the only thing that we're going to see is the output of the dress-up operation. So it's, and that's not just the modifications, it's the entire path. One more cool thing about the way that dress-ups work in PATH is that they operate on existing uh, PATH objects, but those PATH objects could come either from uh, other operations like, like profile or engrave. They can also work on, uh, on paths that were created by importing existing G-code. So if you use a preprocessor script like the ShopBot preprocessor to bring in G-code from another program, you can select that uh, path object, the resulting path object, and apply a dress up to it, and it'll operate exactly the same. Uh, now, your mileage may vary depending on how intelligent the preprocessor script is, but if it creates a valid path, then the, the dress up operation should operate on just like anything else. Uh, it's a fun thing to play with, and it might give us the ability to. Uh, do interesting modifications even to G-code that didn't get generated in FreeCAD. So, um, I'll output the, uh, the code for this for our shop bot and uh, um, actually I'm not going to cut this particular shape, I'm going to cut uh, a cardboard box shape that we've already done and uh, show you what that looks like on the machine. That move. I like the three sixes too, my man. So there you have it. That's what a drag knife does, and that's how a dress up operation works in FreeCAD. Hope to do a lot more with this. It's a, like I said, it's a pretty powerful tool and will allow us to have all kinds of uh, refinements and improvements to the paths without having to touch the base operations themselves. Uh, before I leave, I want to give two shout outs to, uh, uh, for help that I got uh, making this thing work. Uh, first is uh, Donic Tools, who supplied the drag knife. Uh, this is a really neat piece of equipment. It's a lot of fun to play with. I had a good time making this thing go. Uh, the other is to make a Redux Corporation, uh, and John there helped me with some of the uh, heavy lifting on the programming, as well as modifications to the ShopBot pre- and post-processor scripts. Uh, ShopBot's working pretty well with uh, Path Workbench these days, so check it out. Thanks.